hello, here we are again at Solace and Brazilian Society meeting. And I'm here with Dr. Uh, Cindy Grimes, a worldwide well-known interventional cardiologist and a researcher in the field, specifically in the field of STEMI and other issues. She has great accomplishments and it's an honor to be here with her. It's an honor to be here with you. Thank okay, you. welcome to Brazil again. Uh, Dr. Grimes, uh, we've been seeing a lot of things about empowering women nowadays and you as a female interventional cardiologist, do you think the women has have more obstacles to overcome comparing to their male counterparts in our field? Oh, absolutely. I think um, there's a big problem with women not even being interested in cardiology. So, for example, in the United States, 50% of all medical students are women, and it's even higher here in South America, and yet so few are even training in cardiology. So general cardiology, the number of trainees is only 20%, and the number of practicing cardiologists that are women is about 10%. And that really hasn't changed much over the past 15, 20 years. So there's a huge barrier to getting women into cardiology and keeping them in cardiology. How did you manage it yourself in your career? I know the motherhood and the career in the field of interventionalists, as an interventionist, uh, how was it for you? Well, it was challenging, and I think that you, I go through stages in my life. When I was a, a mother with small children, it, I didn't have a social life. So I worked hard, but I did not play at all. When I came home, I was taking care of them. But I think it's important to have a support system. I had a full-time uh, babysitter who lived in. I had a husband who was helpful. And I just had this attitude where there's a limit, you know, it's a limited time frame, and I'm going to focus on my job and focus on my children until this particular time passed. And it worked great for me. I was highly successful. Yeah, I got it. We can see that. Well, uh, what do you see for the future? Uh, our field is always evolving, you know? You've been part of our daily practice and change our daily practice uh, when we talk about the primary occupancy for instance yeah. and what is now in the radar what do you see the next frontier for interventional cardiology oh that's always so challenging there's so many things that are in development right now but i see a big comeback of renal denovation i see more um, valvular heart disease uh, devices being developed. I think uh, telemedicine is uh, going to be really big. I know uh, there's a lot of telemedicine here in Brazil where there's remote diagnosis of STEMIs and treatment of STEMIs uh, via telemedicine. And so all that's very, very exciting. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Enjoy Sao Paulo and enjoy Salas. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you.